Hola, hola, hola. Hi, the name's Daddy D. And I'm back with yet another video. And today I'm gonna be talking to you about why your favorite foods suck. So, number one, macaroni and cheese. Frankly, macaroni itself is an awful name. I mean, obviously. Number two, macaroni and cheese is the worst thing I have ever tasted and seen in my life. How do you take these flavorless, goopy, squishy, mushy, disgusting, just all around nasty looking shell thingies, you boil them, and then you put cheese on top of them? I don't know who in their right mind thought that this was a good idea to make these two a combination, but I need them to be either a arrested or put on trial because whatever possessed your flavorless white behind to make something this nasty and yes i know there's a lot of black people who like macaroni and cheese those people are irrelevant in this situation i'm sorry you're not black macaroni and cheese is probably one of the most white things you've ever seen plus also i mean come on i've seen a few white families who have just macaroni and cheese for dinner and nothing else um that should tell you something and people are like what about uh, the mac and cheese and bacon no bro the cheese is already salty we don't need extra salt last thing we need is salt we need seasoning not cheese. Now you could probably be like, well, that's what spaghetti is. No, it ain't. There's seasoning on spaghetti and there's meat and it's actually a meal. I used to like mac and cheese, but then I realized how flavorless it is. Just the consistency itself is just, ew, not today. Richard across the block can have that, not me. I'm good. Number two, cheeseburgers or burgers in general, any type of burger or red meat. I've been to so many restaurants over my 20 years of living. And quite frankly, after seeing all kinds of food and tasting all kinds of burgers. Cheeseburgers are probably the worst, but any burger is the worst because every single place I've went to, the beef was not seasoned. The only time the beef was ever seasoned was when I was at home and mom was cooking. If my mom didn't cook them, I didn't like it. And maybe because I went to McDonald's a lot of my life when I was a child, which is one reason why I stopped eating fast food. It's just flavorless meat with cheese and some toppings that frankly do more flavoring than the burger itself. The main course, you know, of the sandwich besides the bread. It just this doesn't make a lot of sense to me as to why this is a staple in America. If it ain't flavored right, or it don't look right, or it don't taste right, it just don't work. You'd think flame grilling a patty would make it taste like something. It doesn't. It just makes it taste burnt. Bad. Bad. Nasty. Nasty. Dirty. Dirty. Hot dogs. What is wrong with you people? Why do people still buy hot dogs? I don't get it. It's pink mystery meat. Although I've seen videos on how it's made. I don't care. People will still be eating these circumcised dinglings. Why? Y'all like eating wieners, bro? People really just just be gulping down glizzies. And actually that's a pretty fitting name because this is a nasty name for a nasty food. King's Hawaiian Biscuits, N-O, disgusting. I mean, what's even the taste? I get they're supposed to be sweet, but like, what is the t what what is this flavor? What is the name of this flavor? I guess you could call it orange zest? I, I don't know what you call this, but it doesn't even taste like bread. Y'all gonna hate me for this one. I'm glad you do though. Fried chicken. Yes, I'm black and I don't like fried chicken. What a shocker. I don't know who thought that deep frying a chicken leg, a chicken thigh, a chicken hip booty, BBL chicken, I don't know. <laughs> just deep frying a chicken in general, turkey even, is just diabolical is a heart attack waiting to happen. I don't care how good y'all try to make it seem. I don't care how crunchy it is. I don't care if that's flavor. If you want crunchy chicken, buy some chicken tenders. Baked chicken tenders. It's better anyway. I don't think fried chicken is good. It's greasy. It's nasty. It gets too messy. I've seen people lick the grease off their fingers before. That was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. Why would you do that? Disgusting. Next. The whole black community gonna hate me for this one too. Watermelon. It doesn't really taste like anything. I like celery. You're probably wondering, well, if you like celery, then why don't you like watermelon? They basically taste the same thing. No, they don't. Yes, they mostly consist of water, but celery is a vegetable. I can actually dip the celery in something to make it taste better than it already does. It has a distinct tang to it. Watermelon just tastes like a diluted apple. It tastes like you put one little tiny minuscule droplet of Mio and put it into like a gigantic water bottle, like a jug. Have y'all ever heard of the drink Hint before? It's awful. And people be talking about, oh, I can't wait to put my Negro lips on these. <laughs> I can't wait to put my Negro lips on this here fruit right now, this summer and whatever. I'm like, bro, this is what we doing, my people? My brothers and sisters from the white man's grocery mart. Anyway, and then also the seeds, like, bro, I'm not picking every individual seedling out. Next one, steak. Why do people like steak? It don't even taste good. Every time I've had steak, it was always 
unseasoned. I had to put on almost half a gallon of steak sauce just to enjoy a slice. And not to mention, what is steak sauce? Corn syrup, chili cheese, Frito sauce, so what? I mean, is it just barbecue sauce in disguise? James Bond timing? Like, bro, people be asking for this big slab of meat, rare, practically completely uncooked, mushy, and again, no flavor. You really came to a restaurant and ordered a salmonella? Like, I, I don't understand. You just wanna die, don't you? But anyway, steak is expensive. For this uncooked master mess? No, master pee on, you feel me? Couldn't even chew it. It was dang near built like leather. I was just like, bro, y'all sure y'all didn't make this cow into a jacket before y'all cooked it? Like burrito bowls. Now you're probably wondering, well, why, why don't you like burrito bowls? It's basically a burrito, but without the tortilla. That's the point. Why are you eating a burrito without the tortilla? All the ingredients go into something. Well, it went into a bowl. Shut up. I can understand. Maybe you don't want the extra carbs, but there's carbs inside the ingredients in a burrito, regardless if there's a tortilla or not. You're still going to be eating carbs. Did you forget that chicken, beans, and other ingredients in burritos have calories and carbs? If you're that concerned about a tortilla giving you extra calories, then just get a low calorie burrito. Get low calorie wraps. I sometimes eat keto ones and they were delicious. I had them with my enchiladas. It's very easy to find options that'll fit your needs. I mean, you could have at least made the bowl like, I don't know, a taco shell or something. Then it would have been interesting. Chicken nuggets. Yep, I said it. I've had Tyson chicken nuggets. I've had Kid Cuisine chicken nuggets. I've had every type of chicken nugget you could think of. McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. I've had all of them. And guess what the consensus was for each one? Sure, they had flavor because they were fried. They were good because they were basically the only thing I ate as a child. Sure, they're a snack food. But give me some pizza rolls. I just think they're childish to eat. It's like a last resort meal. Grits. I don't know why black people like grits so much. It's porridge with seasoning. Like, ramen seasoning. Y'all really wake up in the morning and want to taste something savory in porridge form? Bacon or sausage, I could understand. Just eat some oatmeal. At least it actually gives you a little bit more of a wake-up call, because grits don't have really any benefits. And people be eating, like, eggs with grits and putting all types of stuff in their grits. It's like, I mean, sometimes grits even look like gravy. Chunky gravy that you put on biscuits. Which, by the way, biscuits and gravy? Worst combination ever. Don't mix savory with sweet-ish. It's bread. Why would you put gravy on bread? That makes as much sense as putting, I don't know, jello on toast. Shoot, syrup and biscuits are even better than that. I've heard that there's also like garlic grits. Y'all really wanna wake up in the morning and the first thing you wanna taste is some garlic? I know y'all breasts stink every time you wake up. I know you don't brush your teeth for nothing. Bagels, bagels, I said it. If you think about it, bagels are basically donuts, but without glaze. Bagels just taste like, they taste like less flavorful sandwich bread. I've seen people getting like four or five packs of them at the grocery store. I'm like, it's like, oh, I can't wait to have my next bagel. Like, no. So the last one I've got for this list is peanut butter and jelly. Because it's overused, it's overrated. I enjoyed PB&J for a while, whenever my mom would make it, so like that. It's a simple sandwich. I don't even eat peanut butter and jelly together. I eat the peanut butter and jelly separately. They just don't work together. And also I've drunk milk with them? Nasty, dirty, dirty, gross. How do you take sweet and sweet-ish slash salty for peanut butter? Every time I've eaten a peanut butter and jelly, after I got done eating it, I almost gag because I have this thing where I lose flavor in my mouth, and if I don't go too long without flavor in my mouth, I'll gag. There should be a lingering taste on my mouth after eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but also it's dry. They're wet ingredients. Why are these things making it dry? I'd rather just have a grilled cheese, a grown-up grilled cheese. I don't eat American cheese mozzarella and bacon with mine. That concludes the end of this video. To be completely honest, those are all the foods that I hate so far. I will have more. If you guys want to see a part two to this video, like the video and share it and let me know in the comments what you guys think. And with that being said, thank y'all for watching this video. I appreciate it. I love all of you who are watching and are still sticking around. It's been a while since I've uploaded. I'll see y'all in the next video. Yeah? Peace.